big motor yacht. This is a very big yacht, probably a hundred foot. But a very easy spot to moor in. So no wheel, just engines really. And I've got bow thrusters there as well, although I actually find it easy to work with them in general. They're good for getting you out of a hole. Especially do the berthing in three minutes, but to be honest, I think that's unfair. I don't think there should be a time limit on boaty things. I think it's a bad idea. Bow thrusters, they're great. I want them on my boat now. Big super yacht. All moored up. I haven't yet bought the super yacht, so you know, I'm just in the motorboat, really. So let's do a tough one with the motorboat. Let's do hard. Expert. With thrusters failing at a random time during strong wind and current. Okay, let's try this. Thrusters, bow thrusters or all thrusters? There's me little butt. Where's me slot? Should show me the slot now, shouldn't it? Where could it be? Oh, that doesn't look like a difficult slot. On the left there, in the middle. We've got a big boat opposite, and there is a hole opposite. Okay, so let's just... Yes, thruster failure. That's what will happen today. Let's just make our way into the bay. Nice sunset. Current is coming from the northwest, which is a bit odd, so it means it's coming from within the bay, and the wind is coming from the north east. So the, the wind is coming from in front at the moment, sort of in front and to the right. So basically, the wind and the current are going to be trying to throw us out of the marina. It's pretty much going to be the upshot of that. Where's my little space? Up there somewhere. I'm going to get thrusters failing. Well, we haven't got bow thrusters on this one. Yeah, there's a lot of wind. I think if the if the thruster is failing, it's sort of doing it intermittently. You don't get a sense that it's failing, failing, if you know what I mean.
just touching the side there. That wind is coming from the left, so it's pretty impossible not to go in without touching the side. There's no fenders in this simulator, but you would have fenders, I suppose. And there we are. That was the expert setting. Quite good fun, that game. Quite enjoy it. It's quite realistic. Just giving it a go with the sailing boat here as well. You have to watch an advert to, uh, to have a go with the different boats. Or you can buy them for 99 cents each, which is a reasonable price. And now we do have a wheel. Okay, and it's got a nice air as well. So this is how my boat is, really. This is more like the way my motorboat is. We've got three minutes again to get in here. Quite slow to respond using the rudder instead of an actual engine thrust. Oh, and she's coming over a bit more than she should. We've got bow thrusters, I almost forgot. Yeah, very weak engine on this sailboat. It's not much. So we've got that bow thruster, you can see it there going. There's the correct colours as well for that. I must say, it is quite good fun using the bow thrust just to dock a boat. We might be able to make it in the three minute time, time limit. Let's start reversing now. I'm going to need to go forward again. And I'm assuming we don't have steering when we're reversing in this, just like a, a narrow boat. It's got good practice for a narrow boat, really. But your bow thruster sort of becomes your reverse steering exposing effect. In a funny kind of way. Good practice to send to the wheel once you've finished steering. Oh, 
Yeah, so the bow thrusters, you can use them almost. It's like, like if you imagine that the boat's you're sort of steering the front of the boat, but you're actually steering the back of it. It's really hard to explain, but it's also very cool. Yeah, it's almost as if the prow of the boat becomes like a silverfish tail and you're just can wiggle with the bow thrusters but that in turn actually steers the back of the boat really accurately. Oops, not that one. Port side. And then if I go into reverse and go port with the bow thruster it sort of steers the back of the boat really accurately. So strange. That's actually a really interesting challenge, the sailing catch, the sailing boat. I might actually buy the sailing boat for 99 cents and the super yacht for another 99 cents. I might push the boat out. 